All right, just got to Midwest. Gonna do a factory tour. Gonna have some upgrades done to my baby. Let's go see Ron Preston. There's a man. Hey, Jim. What's, so what's happening, brother? Hi. Good to see you, man. Glad you could make it. Glad, glad to Come be here. In. Glad to be here. So, uh, how you doing? Hey, good. Yeah. Yep, so here's a waiting room right here. Bring Very nice. In, wait for their van or uh, get some service work done. Cool. Yep. Really cool. We're going to go out on the floor and see some yeah, new stuff. See the cool stuff. All right, let's do it. Boxes are boring. Yeah. We got to wear a mask out there. We do have to wear a mask Absolutely. Out there. Yep. No, no worries. I brought one. All right, guys, Ron is my uh, rep with Midwest. Been with yep. them for how long, Ron? Six years now. Six years. Yeah, six years, basically the start of our RV division. All right, cool. So this is our main assembly building here. Okay. Okay? In our main assembly building, we have two lines, mm -hmm. okay? Because we make RVs and limos. Right. RVs are the outside, inside are limos. Okay. They both run at a different pace, obviously, because a lot of stuff goes in each one. Cool. All right? Um, We'll talk so, about down this way first. Okay. Yeah, here we have an RV. Yep. As you see, going down the line, it's pretty tore apart. You don't have a lot of your appliances in yet. You have some of your cabinetry already started. Your cladding, your steps, everything is basically taken off. All right, cool. So down so this, this is, way. Is this where they start or uh, are they no, further up? All out? the way down here. All okay. the way down here. Awesome. So what I'm showing you in this building is about two weeks. Right. Okay. But so much is going on in these for these two weeks. Okay. Hardwood's already done. Mm -hmm. Hardwood takes about a minute. There's a bathroom in there. Cabinetry over here is being made. You can see some seat frames there. Right. Again, everything we do is made in house. Frames, all of it. We have our own sewing department. We go by there. Okay. That's where you do your your vinyl and all that yep. stuff. Awesome. So we're starting to get to see more more deconstruction going on. Yep. Yep. Over here. He's working on wrapping everything. We're known for a wrap. Uh, it keeps it quiet, better insulation, and overall look. I do know this. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right here, all we see is the flooring. Mm -hmm. We see the base of the tub, okay? Black tank's already installed. Underneath already, you have a fresh and gray tank. If this has a lithium or generator, it's already installed here. As you see here, we're starting to wrap the ceiling. We got all the wires ran. We got our new rock wool insulation throughout the entire vehicle. I'm familiar with that. It's really good insulation. The rear doors. And we'll okay. See that. Nice. A lot of people miss on the rear doors. Now mine has that as well. Oh yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Yep. This is some foil insulation as well for that front cab. This side of your cabinet, as you notice, there's a lot of engineering to go on. It's basically to keep weight down. Right. Right. So we here's a great example here. Multiple pieces. A lot of engineering going on. So it's hollow, but not real solid and you heavy. Got it. It's, right. It gives you strong the same sturdiness. Right. But lightweight. Very nice. Again, there's uh, some of that insulation in the rear doors. Yeah, I do like that, man. Everywhere. That's important. Yep. Got to keep your your heat and your cooling. A lot of our competition will, will not do the rear doors because they right. don't remove the rear caps. Right. Oh, guys, this is our first Ford. That's it right there. Nice. All wheel drive. Yeah. How long are these? They're 22 foot? This one's 22 foot, two inches. Okay. Yep. Built on a 3500 Dually all wheel drive. And with the most powerful motor, it comes in a van, a 3.5 liter Eco Boost. Twin turbo. Twin turbo. Yeah, boy. foot pounds of torque and 310 horsepower. Very nice. Should be able to stick to zero to 60 in about 6.7. Nice. Yeah, it's in the works. Oh yeah, no, it's uh, been nice. for a lot of prototyping here since it is the first one. All right, so these are limos on the inside here. Limos on the inside. Now, Ultima Toys is building these. Um, so no? we're building them for our dealer Ultima Toys. Right. We use the brand Ultima Toys. Right. Okay. And we have so, we have a dealer in New Jersey near us that does the limos too. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So Midwest Automotive Designs, mm -hmm. American Coach, 
Fleetwood Ultimate Toys are all made here. Right. Okay, so Midwest Auto Designs is the division of vans for Redwood. Right. All right. They're all roughly the same when it comes to quality, fit, and finish. We don't really, they might have different features or options, but they're all luxury and they're not built in Right. Midwest. My Midwest Passage, same as an American coach. Absolutely. Yep, Patriot. Yep. Hey, what are they doing over here on the lift? So we have multiple lift points. Mm -hmm. Over here is generators. Okay. okay. So they lift it up, put the generator on. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Um, gray again, we're tank. We're in the assembly building right now. Gray, gray tanks under there as well. Gray tanks, fresh tanks. Okay. All right. Let's let's continue. Yeah. So here's our wood shop. One of them. Uh, this wow. right here is at our hardwood. This right. right here is basically the construction. Right. So this isn't the stuff that's getting wrapped. You got it. Right. This, this is this, this is the base. Yep. Very nice. Wow. CNC machine over there. A lot of high quality workers. A lot of the engineering going on. Try to keep weight down. Right. So I'm trying. I try to keep folks up to date on what's going on with the RV industry. Yep. And right now, I mean, things are just on fire and exploding. Yeah, true. So, so how many did you guys build last year and how many are you building this year? Well, actually, they're going to be about the same. We All right, so the previous year. Yeah, there we go. There All we right, go. yeah, yeah. Um, we did probably about 800 units. Wow. Last year, we 1,200. Wow. So, so 50. Increase. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Wow. Uh, we wish we get to 2,000, which is the goal once the chassis situation comes down. And you down. can still do that out of this location? and No. No, you'll have to expand. Okay, so what we'll do is our sewing department, mm -hmm. our wood department, are going to other factories. Right. The assembly will still happen here. Okay. We believe there's plenty of room for the assembly. Sure. Just not room you for can't the build it all here. Right. would be doing in our own facility. Gotcha. All right. We walk through here to see all these hardworking people. Yep. All the fabric wrapping going on here. That's right. Weird door panels there. Again, you're not going to find that very many places. No, I know everything is wrapped on mine. Yeah. Uh, even the driver's door. Yep. The next door has uh, diamond stitching going put on. Very nice. Cup holders, everything before getting wrapped. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, soft, uh, soft plug or drawer glass. We're also doing now a uh, dovetail drawers as well. Nice. All done here in our own factory. Very nice. Duct work. You know, we, we don't really do the custom floor plans anymore, but to say this isn't a custom van. This is a completely it custom is van. really tough. And they have everything, so what more could you add to them? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a package if you don't want a generator you can do the eco freedom and you know they come with virtually every option you could want or need oh yeah very nice all right so you guys have any new product built yet 2022s 2022s, absolutely. We'll go down to the final finish area. Okay. And we'll look at some final finish 2022. Awesome. Let's do it. We walk down um, uh, this way right here, and we'll see some of the RVs slowly getting built. Step by step, you'll we'll start seeing more complete. Mm -hmm. Still have the same flooring. Beautiful. That's an MD4. Uh, yeah, that was an MD4. Scoot over here just for a second. Okay. Now I know they're on their lunch break, but this is our sewing department. Good, it'll be quiet here. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, yeah. Um, so this is our sewing department here. Yep. Okay. We make all of our own seating, all of our own furniture in house. Okay. Okay. So the seat frames come in. They're all DOT tested. Everything's uh, um, the way safety concerns should be. Mm -hmm. And then we do our work. Listen, there is a reason why I bought Midwest product. <laughs> I could have bought anything. Oh, sure. But there's a reason why I bought this. I did my homework. Oh, and yeah. you guys built yeah. a very, very nice product. Oh, we're glad you have it, Jim. Mm-hmm. Um, give you some of our fabric. Fabric right now is becoming an issue with oh, COVID. I, I'm hearing that with everybody. Yep. Usually rolls and rolls behind there. 
but as you can see, there's it's very thin. few rolls. Yeah, it's getting thin, huh? Yep. We'll walk over here. Just so this is where the diamond needle stitch happens. I got the double stitch in mine, and I really like it. This is it, guys, right here. You know, a lot of people think that's just for looks, but it actually creates a ventilation under your back and your backside. Yep. Yep. Um, piping. You know, we always have that contrast piping yep. stitch and everything. That's exactly what this is right here. Very this nice. right here would probably be the piping for a milkweed seat. Yep. And okay. that wraps like a uh, like a plastic. It does. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So making some more stuff here. All these folks are on lunch, huh? Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> what are they going shifts? So here's an unfinished diamond design getting ready to be completed. Wow. And that's what I have. I love that. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Really makes for a lot of ventilation across. Listen, you're going to sit in these vans for long periods of time. Nope. I just did 12 hour drive out here. Yeah. And uh, having that double stitch seating really makes a big difference when getting ventilation. Another major shortage, but it doesn't look like it here, is foam. Foam, yeah. Everything, chemicals, materials, everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing this from everybody. Yep, we're, we're glad that we're able to keep this up and rolling. And again, this isn't shut down, everybody's just at launch, right? Right. Now. Wow. Putting the foam there. Mm-hmm. This is a four-wheel drive. Yep. Big BFG tires on it. Test some of the electronics going down here, make sure everything's hooked up correctly. Sure. No seats yet. No seats yet. They're wrapping them, huh? How you doing? stuff ready for our main lines to be put in. Look at that. Head rests. Very nice. And this is a limo, right? Yep, yeah, big limo. Wow, that's got a rear bathroom in it? It does, and yeah, then this, very, very popular. These right two now. jackknifes make a bed, huh? Yep. I like that, yeah, very this cool. This is the ultimate RV, if, if I'm not mistaken, with this product right here. Very nice. Yep. Sure. How many employees do you guys have here? Uh, we now have about 220. Wow, yeah. that's great. Okay, so now this is final finish. Okay. Okay. So the van is nearly complete. If anything was missing, uh, such as shortages right now, it would come here, mm -hmm. and then we'll put it in here. Okay. Okay, so we keep the line moving. Sure. But, take a look at something. Here's an American coach right here. MD4. Yep. I'm, get, I'm getting one of these. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got to get one of those. Yeah, no, I'm getting one. <laughs> Eric's, Eric's getting me one. Cool. We're going to upgrade my battery and I'm getting one of the teak seats now. Oh, He's cool. also going to look to see if I can put this screen in mine because I have the old screen with the oh, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. strings on it. Yeah. I don't really shut it much, but uh, this one's on wheels and it just, it glides. Yeah. Way better. Am I allowed to go in or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, they so MV, MD4. Now this is the new light wood. I haven't had one of these in stock with this wood. I really like it. Man, it really lightens it up. Holy cow! <laughs> it makes it feel much bigger. Now this is a this is a a, a twenty three footer though. This is not a an SD. Right. This is this is the one seventy wheelbase. Yep, this is this is the one seventy wheelbase, one seventy extended. Oh, this is different too. Twenty four foot, three inches. I like that. Mine this has... is a lithium package. Mm -hmm. So no generator on board, all lithium. Right. Very nice. Yeah, I like the new glass. Fantastic. That's nice. Yeah, rain glass shower door on this custom unit. Showers haven't changed much aside from the door. <laughs> they haven't. <laughs> that works. Convection. Yeah, I like this light wood. This is really nice. Did we do any in this? Oh, yes. We should. Absolutely, absolutely yeah, should. It, yeah, that's beautiful. It's a thing right now. Yeah, I really like that a lot. It brightens up, makes it feel so much larger yep. inside. Very, very nice. Yeah, I gotta get me one of those teak things. Yeah. You step in there after a shower, you don't step in the water because the teak keeps you out of the bottom. <laughs> very nice. I like these windows too. All right. 
So these are all finished units? These are all finished units, getting cleaned or yep. just being tested. Okay. How you doing? Good. Good. Very nice. A lot of them with the lightwood. I really like that. Yeah. No, we're very popular right now. All right, let's head over there then. All right, now we're stepping into the limos. Right. Okay. Okay. Right here's a good limo for you. Okay. Real restroom. Oh, yeah. No shower in this, so. No showers. Right, that's what keeps no it from shower. being the RV. No kitchen, no shower. It's not designed to be used overnight. Right. It's Just designed for a great day trip. Transport and use the restroom when you're in motion. Yep, the restroom here. Oh, that's a big one. Yep. Now that does have a shower. This is the uh, new Ultimate RV. Oh, I want to see this. Yep. So that's kitchen and bathroom in the back. Now this one now is this 170 or is this longer? This is 170 extended. It's okay. 24 foot 3 inches. Okay. We're working on it still. Mm-hmm. Is it lights in there or no? I took no, my light off. Yet. I took my light off. Oh wow. Alright, so it's got the bed. Yep. And then a rear bath and rear kitchen. It does. Alright. Now can this be built by anybody or just Ultima Toys? Um, right now it's open toys only. Right, yep. okay. Yep. All right, well listen, I bought my last one from Steinbring. I'm not opposed to buying <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, I really like that floor plan. That's yeah, that's really no, neat. It, it's a great floor you plan. can seat folks in it and sleep no problem, sleep two. Yep. Very cool. Yep. There we go. Same layout or no? Uh, no, this is just another day cruiser okay. style vehicle. Yep, so six seats, little jump seats in the back, and then a rear bath. Yep. Yep. I like these limos. They're very nice. I mean, it's been our bread and butter for ever. Before you start doing the RVs. Exactly. Right. All very right, nice. we'll head on over to our now our, our uh, chassis preparation building. Okay. And our wood building. Ooh, I'm going to take okay. a breath out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's warm in there. It it's cooler out here. It's like 55 degrees today. Oh, yeah. it feels great. So I, I, I didn't think that I would want four-wheel drive, and I didn't think that I would want Eco Freedom. Yep. But I'm already starting to plan my next one. Yep. And definitely going to go with a Mad again. Yep. And uh, but I think I want to go long wheelbase. Sure. Four-wheel drive and Eco Freedom. I would do that. Um, well, lithium's just way easier to use now. Yep. It, is the point where it's it, it's as good or better than generator. So the thing that I like about it, and most folks don't understand, that you spend a thousand plus dollars on a on a battery, but yeah. with a with a lead acid or an AGM, you're actually losing voltage as it drops. Right. But with the lithium, you're just losing percentage of battery yeah, life. The, the pole is the same pole. That's right. You're it's you're not going to drop off level. to a percent where it won't work anymore. Exactly. Just degrades down to 40 30 you know and then but you still have complete voltage to be able to run everything Absolutely. it's just like our laptops or phones you know yep. I mean? our, our phone doesn't lose yeah power just because it goes down doesn't stop working yep, yep. just loses percentage of battery life and Absolutely. that's why i'm upgrading mine holy so, moly this is just a look start. at all of those vans look back there you got quite a few hundred actually. are they just empty or are they Those are empty shells for us to build upon. wow now this was not the case a couple years ago um i was watching one of your videos and you said you were buying vans from amazon yep everybody wow wow no, very man. cool look vans as far as the eye can see really now you just need to be able to produce them <laughs> get get the supplies get the uh well you have the orders that's for sure yeah yeah we we can't get them quick enough you know, they, they don't last long on our lot at all. Like, I just traded a 19 back in, and we're selling that thing for almost uh, as much as it did new. That's that's how much these guys are holding their value. These vans make so much sense for today's age. Absolutely. You know, you're traveling around the country. Maybe you're not seeing them every night. 
right. you're staying in a few days, yep. you know, that's exactly what you don't have to go into a restroom at a rest area. You don't have to go into a restaurant if you don't yes. want to. Yeah, I, I, that's why I got mine. My we're, mine's going to be like kind lucky. of like a mobile hotel room. Yeah, we're very lucky to have a country that is as big and as beautiful as ours. Yep. And we can drive these anywhere and really enjoy it. Yep. Now, what I'm surprised that there's not more sales guys instead of flying around the country, yeah. jumping in a van like this and Makes and sense. doing their sales calls like like reps yeah. like yourself. You know, um, I did some research. You know, back then they used to do that. Mm -hmm. Titleists used right. to do that. Yep. You know, they go around to these tournaments, sell the golf balls, yeah. sell clubs right out of the back of them. The yep. Original guys that started Titleists. Do you, Do you take them around and demo or no? Um, uh, we do, but the thing is. Right now, everybody wants. Yeah, they don't. Right? They say you know. We don't want no miles. Yeah, we we need our unit now. Exactly. Yesterday. Yep. But uh, if I can get a demo. Yes. All right. Cool. Yep. Let's go into the wood shop. All right. That's not wood. What is it? That's composite. Okay. It's lighter than wood. You can put up on the ceiling. Oh my god, it's like, yeah, that's really lightweight. Yep. Very nice. We need weight in these vans. For sure. Let's go look at some stuff. I got the flat finish in mine. I really like that. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Buffing for a polish. Yep. And then they'll seal it up. That is so pretty. Are they baking stuff in there? Are they spraying it down? Wow. Very nice. Oh, nice. This is where they hydro wrap stuff? Is that a solvent or no? What's that? Is, what is that? Water? Yeah, just okay. water. Yep, they'll uh, get mm -hmm. off any of the residue. And they're just doing hydrographics here? Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. See here, they grabbed some of the film. Yep. That was right there. Black denali. Right. That gets put in the water. Yep. And then they dip the wood right on top of it. Right now he's prepping the piece that's gonna be dipped. Mercedes Benz parts here. And you're just matching everything up. Uh -huh. So how long does that need to be in the water? Like around like a minute 30. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. And it absorbs all the moisture and I can adhere right to the wood. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. And that's just water too. Blue? Something else. Oh, <laughs> adhesive or something. Yeah. You mind showing them uh, the first part here? Awesome. Wow. Very cool. Thank you. That's wicked. <laughs> I love watching that. And then they rinse it over here. I don't want to get in their way. So they wrap it and then they rinse it. Very nice. Very cool. All right. Wow, that's really lightweight. Yeah, we're doing 
deposits, we're experimenting with them. We may experiment on top of cabinets and deposits in order to help save weight and keep the center of gravity down. Sure. Yep. For a better driving experience. It does. Yep. Oh, this is a CNC machine cutting it down. Yep. Very nice. How cool is that? They just set the piece of foam and then it cuts it? Nope. No, we used to do this all by hand pattern when I first started six years ago. Right. Now CNC machines can create everything we need that's replicated. Faster. Very quick. Faster and perfect. Yep. So now we are in the chassis preparation building. Okay. Okay. A lot goes on here. They're cutting holes in vans here, aren't that's they? That's right. This is heavy lifting now. <laughs> this is heavy lifting. That always scares me, cutting yep. the first hole in a van. Yep. <laughs> so anything, roof racks, awnings, wheels, um, really your safety equipment mm -hmm. is here. Your okay. pedestals for your chairs, all installed here. Put the hitches on here yep. too? Hitches, all heavy lifting. No holes in this one yet. Yep. Oh, yeah. I like that. Look at that. No shine to that whatsoever. That looks great. And a different awning. Yep. Or is it just mounted to the... Uh, uh, that's just for the roof rack. Just for the roof rack. Okay. What's up, man? Give me on camera, man. <laughs> um, pedestals are installed here. Another MD4. So, this one right here is uh, winding up our flooring. Okay. Chassis prep. Cutting holes in roofs. That's exactly what's going on here. Can we go up there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a bright light. You can see everything with that light, huh? Do you notice our flooring, one solid piece here? All, all one sheet of vinyl, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that, flat, no bubbles, nothing. Yep, need that heavy light for that. Very, very nice. I like seeing guys have a good time while they're working. I do, every day. I wouldn't do it if I didn't have a good time. Um, we got our own. As you see, we go over on tires, planes, everything right here with the balance. So I have the black wheels with the BFGs on mine. Yeah, there you go. I really like that. Yep. There you go. That's them. I didn't do the four wheel drive. The you next one. Get some good traction. Next, next one, I think I will do the four wheel drive, though. Because I want to do some off road stuff. Not off, like articulating but like going down dirt roads and stuff like that the final preparation work i like this eyebrow mine doesn't have that that's, that's the uh, new front led headlamps on the mercedes -Benz. i can upgrade to those yeah yeah absolutely yeah. i like that that's Some, cool uh, initial drop. wiring going on here one wires this right here will be your fd2 yep that's what I have, but I have the uh, dinette with the drop-down bed. You guys don't make that anymore. Not. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. 
I have no storage, so I understand why. <laughs> it's I got a really comfortable bed. Yep. But but no storage. No storage. You're trading it. Trading um, off. So oh, there's another transit. Some transits getting ready to walk into the assembly building. Now. All right. So the one that's online is your, is your proto. That's the first, first one. one. Okay. First one. You notice we got one there. Uh -huh. That's already made it for chassis assembly. Right. There. Very cool. And I believe I see one or two more. So, a total of four sitting right here, ready to go in. So we got a lot of folks that want something that's going to sit a, a taller guy like yeah. you. The Mercedes well, you know, is Mercedes a little tight. Well, the Mercedes inside is 6'2". Yeah. All right. The, uh, the Ford inside is going to be closer to 6'4". Right. The, the driving compartment, too, though, is bigger. It is bigger. Yeah. Is so bigger. so I had a really tall gentleman in the other day, and he was he had a list of stuff that he wanted, and yeah. he heard that American Coach was building on the Ford Transit mm -hmm. chassis, and I said, well, we have one coming. Yeah. So uh, he's really interested. He wanted adaptive cruise and, you know, all the all the bells and whistles. Yep. Didn't want the Mercedes. Didn't want the Ram Promaster. But well, once all fit. the tech and yep. everything that comes Yep, and that, you got the perfect fit right there. Exactly. We're only going to have our Ford mm -hmm. fully loaded. Right. We will, I, I know some of our other competitors and stuff will uh, mix around with some lower end right. Fords. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be the top notch Ford no matter what. Right. Okay, so every option power sliding door, all wheel drive, adaptive cruise control. Um, their new uh, sync system up front. Right. The all My the Touch. Will be on here. Yep. My yep. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Very good. I'm kind of curious to see that. I might not go Ben's next time because that's that's a shorter model. It's only it's a short what? model. Yep, Three foot. Two foot two inches. Okay. Right? Um, it's roof racks over there. Oh, nice. These are what goes up top. Now, that you can get solar on these too, right? Right. Yeah, just put yep. it goes on top. It goes right on top there. You got it. Wow, that's that's built. Yeah, that's that, holy this is some moly. Heavy machinery. Yeah. Wow. Not too heavy though. Right. Yeah, okay. That's my service vans over here. Okay. These are vans that are uh, being picked up by uh, drivers. Okay. For to, transport. Uh, transport. Okay. Right gotcha. I saw a flatbed loading some. Up. Yeah. And we actually have a holding lot down in uh, over in Bristol, Indiana, as well. Okay. Um, that's where that's, I just came from. That's, <laughs> that's fully loaded as well. Okay. Very cool, Ron. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to, to show me around the joint. Anytime for you. And uh, you know, I'll keep pushing these guys. We really like them where we're at. We wish we could, we could get more. All right, brother. All right, dude. All right, see you, bud. Take care. Out with the old and with the new.